Hi guys, just had to replace the DVD drive out of my old PC and I thought, well, rather than throw it away, I'll take it apart and see what I can make with the individual bits. So hopefully this will be the start of a short series of things you can make from an old DVD drive. First thing we'll do is take it apart. Okay, so we've got a sheet of metal that might be useful for a chassis of a car or something like that. I don't intend to do anything with the electrical circuitry but I do intend to do something with the electric motors. I'll have to desolder them, I think, because I want to keep the mechanics all together. So, soldering iron. While we're waiting for the soldering iron, the rest of it from the tray. Should be able to. Yes. Okay, so we've got another bit of metal that would make the chassis for a car quite easily. small stepper motor there, and a slightly larger stepper motor there. Cool. That's noisy. Right, put that to one side for now. Ready, so we should just be able to okay so we've got the plastic chassis assembly here the DC motor has a pulley on it and then the pulley drives some gear wheels the inside of the tray is toothed and the gear drives the tray in and out. So I'm going to get a bit of plastic from a pop bottle and use that as the front of the vehicle. And I've already got these CDs, or this CD, with that's a, a VHS cassette tape spool which has a serrated edge on it so I'm going to use that as a ratchet so I shall mount the wheel on the side you'll see I want to try and reuse as many of the bits as possible so the front cover I'm going to hot glue on here to support the switch that I need to put there. The other bit of the front cover I'm going to cut in half and hot glue there and there because the switch is going to be operated by this sliding backwards and forwards. But I don't want it to have to go the full distance so I'm going to shorten it honest it will become clear. <laughs> I've also drilled a couple of holes in the back of the chassis there for the axle to go through. I really would like to use that switch but it's not a locking switch it's a momentary switch. In other words you push it one way and it springs back, push it the other way and it springs back. So I can't use that even though 
it would be nice because it's part of the original assembly. So I'm going to have to use one of my own changeover switches. And I'm going to have to extend the arm or the lever because that's too stiff to operate at that distance. So I'm going to put a longer arm on it, a bit of plastic tubing. Right, all I've done is I've hot glued a drinking straw onto the end of the arm. Bracket in place, switch in place. So the theory is next thing that piece of plastic that I've cut from the pop bottle I'm going to glue on the front because that's what gives it its forward motion. Coming on got our plastic strip in place along the front bracket in place, switch in place, a couple of batteries so I need to wire them up and before I forget I've also got to put my bit of plastic that's going to rub against that toothed wheel and act as a ratchet. So I've got to hot glue that along there. All wired up. There's a circuit diagram for you if you like it. <laughs> Very simply, one side of the motor goes to the positive of one battery and straight across to the negative of the other battery. The negative of that battery goes to one side of the switch. The positive of that battery goes to the other side of the switch. And then the centre point of the switch, via my lazy switch there, goes to the other side of the battery, uh, other side of the motor. So if I connect it up, I'm not quite sure how well it will go on a smooth surface. I usually run them on the carpet, but uh, we'll see how we go. to have here. There we go, much happier on a bit of carpet. Summary time. This is the first in a short series of projects inspired by the fact I've had to replace the old DVD player in my PC. So when I took it out I thought I could make a little project out of this and then I thought I could probably make a series of projects out of this. So the intention is to see how many different items I can make from the old DVD player. So I've disassembled it and this is the first item. It's what I like to call a crawler bot or even an inchworm because it moves forwards by pushing the tray out. That operates a switch that reverses the polarity on the motor which pulls the tray back in again which operates the switch again reverses the polarity on the motor so it pushes the tray out again and so on and because we've got this bit of plastic here 
it slides forwards but then it grips as it goes backwards so that pulls the rest of the car forwards. Just to run through the components, that's the main chassis from the DVD player. That's the original DC motor that was in the player. The DC motor turns a pulley which turns some gear wheels. The gear wheels act on the toothed edge of the tray and push it out or pull it back in again. That's the arm from my changeover switch. I've extended it by just sticking a drinking straw on it to make it easier to operate. The bit of plastic is from a pop bottle. The back wheels are CDs, but on this one, that gear wheel, as it looks like, that's actually part of a VHS video cassette spool, which happens to be serrated or toothed. So I've got a bit of another bit of my plastic pop bottle, and it just rests against it, and it can turn one way, but if it tries to go the other way, that acts as a ratchet and stops it going backwards. The axle is just an ordinary barbecue skewer. I drilled a hole, or two holes, in the chassis just to mount the axle. Got two 9 volts and the circuit. You can probably actually work it out. But we've got one side of the DC motor comes round here goes to the positive of one battery and then on to the negative of the other battery. The other side of the DC motor goes up this wire which I just use as a simple connector. The other side of that wire goes to the centre of the changeover switch. One side of the changeover switch goes to the positive of that battery the other side of the changeover switch goes to the negative of that battery. So what happens is we're continuously reversing the polarity across the motor so that it cycles forwards and backwards. So that's it. That's project number one, things you can make from an old DVD drive.